In the age of the telegram, people entrusted telegraph operators with transmitting their messages and business offers. But what happens when a telegraph operator accidentally leaves out a key word in an offer for sale? In Air vs. Western Union Telegraph Company, we'll see which party is liable for a mistake in the transmission of a sales contract. In 1887, Air, the owner of a lumber company in Maine, went to Western Union to send a telegram to a buyer in Philadelphia. Air requested that this exact message be sent by telegram. Quote, We'll sell 801,000 laths delivered at your wharf. 210 net cash. July shipment. Answer quick. Unquote. The message Air sent meant that he was willing to sell 800 sets of 1,000 wood planks, known as laths, for $2.10 per 1,000 laths. Western Union sent the telegram with its usual terms, including that Western Union wasn't liable for mistakes in transmission. Western Union also recommended in its terms that customers guard against mistakes by purchasing an additional service that required the receiving telegraph office to repeat back the telegram it received to ensure that there were no mistakes in transmission. Air didn't pay for the additional repeating service. The buyer in Philadelphia received the telegram, but the cost was mistakenly transmitted as only two net cash or $2. The Philadelphia buyer immediately sent a telegram back to Air accepting the offer. Air and the buyer later exchanged letters, and Air discovered the mistake that Western Union made when it transmitted his message. Western Union didn't present any explanation for the mistake in transmission. The buyer insisted that he was entitled to the laths at $2 per thousand, and Air shipped the laths at that rate. Air sued Western Union for the difference in price between the intended sale price and the price that was mistakenly sent in the telegram. Western Union claimed it was only liable for the cost of the telegram.